You are made in the image of God. God decided that you would exist. He decided way before you were born. And he put you here for a reason. He didn't just make you for no reason. So you have a purpose here on earth. God has given you gifts. And he has put you as a piece of the puzzle in this intricate world. To have an effect on something. To glorify him. To be used as his instrument. It's like... The creator of an instrument gets to decide what he's going to use the instrument for. It'd be silly for a guitar to say, no, I want to be a piano. It's like, oh, I'm sorry, but you don't get to decide. You still have an awesome role. You are a guitar and you can make amazing things as long as you are a good instrument and allow God to use you for what you are created for. But how amazing is that, that you have purpose for something greater, much, much greater than you. Much, much greater than you. I remember when I was in high school trying to figure out what to do with life in college, what to study. No passion, no real interests. Didn't really care about much. Uh, once God brought me back to him, he just exploded me with all these different passions and hobbies, talents, more than I could, I, I could even know what to do with. <laughs> um, and it's just, it's been, it's been amazing. Like I, I live for God. I get to live for God and you get to live for God too. What, like, what good is it if you are the best volleyball player in the world if you're not doing it for the Lord right you're going to do it here achieve all that success and then what you're eventually going to die eventually it's going to get old and you're going to want to do something else and you're always going to have to be chasing that next thing chasing that next thing but God since he created us to serve him has designed us in a way that we are completely filled and satisfied in him we have an in infinite size hole in our souls that can only be filled with an infinite sized god it truly is amazing um, how much more peaceful and joyful your life will be living for for the lord it's one of those things where you're just like once you know you know like, I was so blinded for so long. But now it's like, it's just so, so clear that this is the truth. That Jesus Christ is the way, the one and only way. It's just, you, you know, you, you know, if you know, you know. Right, have a good day.